Labor Day. So happy Labor Day, even though you're going to get this later. But I hope you had a great Labor Day. Uh, we Yesterday afternoon, Chris had called Eddie again to see um, if because of all the rain, you know, we were just trying to figure out what was gonna, what was going on, and he said, yeah, because of the rain, he just, he couldn't get to his first appointment in the morning till a lot later, and that, and that ended up taking a lot longer, so he was going to come this morning instead, and of course, we woke up this morning, and it's raining again, which is okay, but the problem is for him to do the work on the, uh, it's, on the air conditioner it's all on the roof and outside so obviously and you don't want to be moving things and opening things up when it's raining so on your roof um, so Chris talked to him today and was like you know he said well I can wait and see when, when it lets up and I can come and Chris said no please just let's just wait till tomorrow because tomorrow's gonna be nicer and we didn't want him to come on Labor Day anyway he had kinda insisted we wanted him to have you know, a day off. It just didn't seem right. But he, last night he had insisted that he'd come this morning. But anyway, so it's raining. Postponed. Tomorrow he will be coming. And we really want to go to the beach today. But those clouds look pretty ominous. So I think we're going to wait a little while yet and see. Uh, Chris is just doing some banking stuff and checking out the accounts. It's actually kind of nice because he <laughs> does not have any work this weekend, which was actually kind of nice for him. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility when you, you know, kind of he's really running his own business. But the upside is that he can work anytime. He's not set to like a Monday through Friday. The downside is anytime he has work, he's working. So you also kind of don't get a break. And it just happened to coincide this weekend with finishing a bunch of projects. So he actually has a little bit of a break from work. So it's kind of nice for him. So I'm, he's doing that. I'm going to start working on the blog a little bit, and then we'll check back with you. It is still pretty stormy. It's late afternoon, and look at that. That is very, very ominous. And look how fast those clouds are moving, too. I don't know if you can tell very well in the video, but they're moving. But our little friend is still out there. see him on the branch. Little hummingbird. He's so cute. It's like he just cannot sit still. He has to rock back and forth. Okay, we have had enough. We are putting our foot down. Right. The heck with the rain. We're swimming anyway. I don't know what's going on with it. It's still raining pretty hard, but we haven't had any thunder or lightning. So we think that we can go swimming at the pool. Yes. It is now 319 and actually what happened is I got a lot of uh, stuff done on these videos, these uh, day in the week videos and Chris actually cleaned uh -huh. while I did that because he doesn't have any work right now. So it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of like this fluid yeah. life. I've talked about it before, but like we used to have such separate roles and duties uh, because our time was so uh, demarcated, if you will, to different tasks all the time. Definitely oh, made that word up. <laughs> that is definitely a word. Demarcated? Maybe. <laughs> if it is, I'm well done. <laughs> well, no, seriously, that's funny, but... I'm not sure if it is a word either. I can't. Actually, I can't. A demarcation. demarcation. Yeah, a demarcation. All right. That's a word. But yeah. To demarcate something. Now you're just getting I'm me not off sure if track. It's a verb. Anyway. Um. So anyway, but now I've talked about this before. Our uh, as RVers and uh, in the RV lifestyle, our roles have really been a lot more fluid, and you know we kind of go back and forth and help each other with different things. And so in this case, because Chris wasn't didn't have any work to do, he ended up cleaning the house and it's all about getting those tasks done that you need to so that you yeah. have more time to spend together and enjoy and be out and about and be our beers right on yeah so we're gonna hit the pool oh you really used it right though oh it is, a <laughs> it is a word we've established that it is in fact demarcated is in fact a word is that how, is that what you had said demarcated demarcated yeah of course it's a word it's i used word. it uh, <laughs> Here's a look right outside of our camper. Puddles and swampland everywhere because of all this rain. We are so glad we were on a concrete pad this time. Yeah, really good week for that. And we are off 
to the pool. We will have our swim no matter what. There's a shot of the bathhouse. Got our spot nice and close to it. It's a gorgeous facility. That's right, gorgeous bathhouse. There is such a thing. I think you're getting carried away with the camera. <laughs> what? Me? Oh, I hold the camera for 30 seconds and all of a sudden <laughs> she's giving me limits. Here is the pool. It is still raining, but the pool water actually feels great. So we are enjoying it all the same. Hey guys, so this might seem like a little bit of a weird segment, but I wanted to take this opportunity to show what a top-notch bathhouse looks like. This is, well let's see, we've been on the road and stayed at upwards of 70 RV parks now in the last year, and this on my list is number three of my favorite bathhouses. This one's awesome, and it is an example of what a 10-star rated uh, facility looks like and that's the good Sam's rating 10 star means the bathroom facilities are as good as they could possibly be rated so let's go check it out see it is super bright really clean tile on the floors you got five different sinks here nice tops again they keep these really clean they clean them every single day you got your toilets over here three individual stalls urinals over on this side and then in the back here's where the shower areas are and this is nice because you have a little compartment here that you can pull the blind over you can change in here and then you've got a big shower walk-in shower um, that you can use so it offers a decent level of privacy yeah these aren't completely private the number one and two campground uh, restrooms on my list are ones that are they look this nice in terms of tile and just cleanliness but like they actually give you your own individual bathroom which was really nice but this is uh, an exceptional facility as well and they do a great job keeping it up so just wanted to give you guys a quick example um, because I think this is surprising to a lot of people they think campgrounds this is not at all what they expect for bathroom facilities but some of the parks out there really do a fantastic job Okay, it's time for bed. It's about 10 of 11. So, good night. We're moving out. Never know where we'll be. We're making plans.